Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Robo Wars Z2 Hawkeye Head. And uh, we're gonna go into, uh, let's see, what was the SR point for this stage? Ah, to get the SR point in this stage, we're, you're gonna have to defeat all, all enemies within six player turns. So six player turns, you have to defeat all the enemies with on your phase on the sixth turn. I almost stood it within five turns, but there was just like one enemy left uh, after it. Actually, I think I do do it within five turns, actually. But anyway, to get all the secrets, we're gonna have to go to the second round. So, that's where I go. Now, unfortunately, all the people that, all the units that had continuous action, uh, are, most of the units anyway, are in the, are in the uh, other routes. That's unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter. Because Crow has it, Gundamexia has it, and that one guy from across has it. I'm not I don't I won't use him that much, but I suppose it's something. You you're gonna wanna press yes there. It's always a fault to no because you can do this again and get more money. Now, for the next few stages, you're gonna see me try to get my cross to, to max, not my cross, uh, Crow, Crow and uh, Crow to and his unit to max, uh, to be fully upgraded, I should say. And I think I'm close to doing that. I think by the next stage, like at, by the next of the end stage, Crow's attack is fully upgraded, if not one off from being fully, uh, yeah, fully upgraded. Like I just, I'm just upgrading his attack and upgrading other units. So yeah, the current stage we're gonna play on isn't too difficult. Um, I can see it having some difficulty if you, uh, try to kill all the enemies, if you, if you try to kill the bosses last, because, um, it, there's gonna be two rounds of enemies. The first round of enemies will disappear as soon as you kill the boss, and, and uh, then the second round, which is, which are Vadra, will then appear. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna go after the enemy boss, then, then the Vadra, there is no boss within the Vadra, so you're just gonna have to kill the Vadra. So, now that's pretty much all you're gonna have to do for this stage. You might want to give some mobility parts to, uh, to Alto and his unit, because he's probably gonna need it for this stage. I don't give it to him. I'm able to complete the stage just fine without it. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm saving it in a different, uh, save slot here, it's because, uh, I was a little bit paranoid that I was going to save in the wrong spot, so that's why I do that. Anyway, let's move on to the next stage. Now, like I said, there is a prerequisite for Alto's uh, secret here. Uh, let's see. I've explained it in the last episode, the last few episodes actually, but when it becomes relevant, uh, I'll try to remember to mention it. Anyway, remember that name up there, Ranka, and I believe Cheryl is the other person's name. Uh, you can have a, you're gonna have to choose between oh there she, there she is. You're gonna have to choose between the two of them. Um, in the middle of the stage, pick whoever one you want, and uh, remember uh, how their names are spelled because it's it's within the choice. You're gonna have to look for it though, so try to remember their characters for whichever character you pick. I just pick Ranka because she's kind of relevant in this stage, so that, that's what that, that that's pretty much why I pick her. Oh, 
a lot of cutscenes in this, this stage. You can see I'm skipping all through all of these, and we're, like it's like it took, it took like five minutes just for me to get through all of them. Well, of course, the, the, I'd, I'd say two minutes because uh, I was in the intermission screen for like three. Anyway, what do you do, you? You just run in with Alto. That's why I suggest you give him uh, parts to upgrade his mobility. Because it's gonna be a bit uh, tough, I suppose. My Alto survives. My Alto. I don't know why I said it that way. But the Alto here. I, I said My Alto because your Alto could be different. But I could have said that a lot better. But anyway. Uh, with also here, you're just gonna want to give him some mobility parts so he could uh, more easily dodge these things. So he can more easily dodge these things essentially, because the also that I have here does get hit once, I think. The thing is, is that his unit isn't bulky at all, so like, one hit, two hits, and he's out. Anyway, we've already seen like what these units can do, so there's no point in me showing off their attack animations. And as you can see there, that, that's when I got hit. I kind of want to run, but like run away from these guys, but you don't really have to worry about that because after you defeat a certain number of units, everybody will actually, um, well, I don't think these guys will run away, but enemies will, re that their reinforcements will appear, and Alto will move back up towards our own reinforcements, so don't worry about, uh, uh, about keeping Alto over here at low health. So it looks like after you take around, uh, out around half of them, reinforcements appear. And with the power of music, I guess, we get uh, all our enemies here to run away. I think, uh, I, I kind of skipped the sets in this dialogue here, but I think he refers to the song as like a Gundam in this, in this, uh, in this stage. I know that's like a bit of trivia. I don't know if it's in this stage or it's, whether it's in like a cutscene somewhere else, but he does comment on it, and he has like the surprise look on his face. Surprise look on his face. So I don't know. And those guys love the song, so they run away because I don't know. I want to listen to it a little more, I guess. Actually, he may have said something. I have said the Gundam is a the song is a Gundam. There. Anyway, Alto's getting ever so close to uh, 70 kills. If you're wondering where those units are going off to the side, they're trying to go for uh, uh, the blue plane. <laughs> I, forget it. I forget the guy's name. Michael? Is that his name? Nah, nah, I can Yeah, it might be. Uh, I can't remember his name. But that unit there can't move, can't do anything because I guess Ronka's over there singing or some, some, some stuff. I with the, I forget its name, the Batalios, Batalios, Batomi. I'm just going to call it the Batomi even though I know it's wrong, because I, I just call I just call it by that. Anyway, Gundam DX isn't really too useful on the stage, considering its strongest move can only be used during the night time. I fixed that in Z3, where it can be, where uh, after a certain stage it can be used uh, in uh, uh, once per turn, once per map. Essentially, unless you uh, 
he can't supply him to get more ammo. The song right here, while these enemy units are out on the on the field, this uh, this song will play throughout the entirety of it. In the option settings, I believe you can change it so that uh, this one song plays no matter what unit you use. Now, I'm sure there's supposed to be like lyrics going on with this song, but you know, I suppose it's not to pay uh, less money. They uh, they used to go for. Uh, uh, what you might call it, uh, an instrumental version of the song, which doesn't have much much of uh, much of an impact, but uh, doesn't really matter. I suppose you can always just oh, yep, that I think you did it there. I think I saw Gundam, I saw the Gundam, uh, all the Gundam characters there. All the characters are spelled out Gundam. Oh, and of course I missed, by the way. <laughs> but I really should be going after the enemy boss here, so don't really worry about the mooks. Alright, like I've been saying, this stage isn't too difficult. It's pretty standard as far as SR points go. Although, although they're kind of my least favorite, the ones that have uh, time limits. Uh, the ones I sort of prefer are the ones that uh, they have to defeat an enemy before they run away. Although, uh, actually I think the game does tell you when they'll run away, actually, in the SR point selection screen, so at least the game tells you um, when, at what HP they run away. Well, I say I like doing that because they're the easiest enemies. Well, because now that I know you can change the support attack. Like, attack. Ah, they're, they're pretty easy for me now. This guy doesn't have much health, but he does take quite a beating, actually. Like in well, much health in terms of other bosses, but it is a lot of defense, I think. And this is where I find out that Gravin really is a glass cannon because look how much damage that 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 did that that, that did to uh Gravin on there. I mean, I mean that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think the Mooks would do less damage, but I mean, I had Guard on and Gravion is like a super robot. Uh, at this point, I, I didn't know that uh, that enemy reinforcements would appear. Well, I wouldn't say reinforcements, more like a second group of enemies would appear. Which is why I uh, try to spread out my damage uh, over here. Because I was wondering whether or not the, that uh, whether this this would be the, the group of enemies that I, the final group of enemies that I had to deal with. Now moving some character towards the blue playing guy over there. I forget his name. Sorry about that because uh, I think the, the I think the enemies are going after them. So, well, they're heading towards them. So I want to move some guys over there, and I don't want to have a game over because of that. Jesus. Actually, now I think about it, I think in the neck, by, by the end of this stage, I give uh, Quarion, not Apollo, a 
the the other pilots piloting it where I give them support of uh, continuous action. I think that's what it's called. So when the, when they attack, they'll they'll get uh, continuous action, and then I can switch, switch just back to Apollo and attack again. So that's something you can do with pi uh, with uh, units that let you change pilots. I don't think I'm so super bored to see when I see this. Did he say Michael? What the fuck? Is, is, that, is that other guy named Michael? Did the guy call Michael? Is, is, that, his, is that his actual name? Because this is Garrett. His name's not Michael. That guy, is that guy really named Michael? Hang on, I need to look this up. I need to see if this is true. Across here, Michael. Uh, yeah, not the guy that's named Michael. Oh, that's his name, Michael Blanc. Supposedly he's a, la a ladies man. That's interesting. I never knew that about him, but that's something. <laughs> oh, there is something. Yeah, but this is one of the shorter stages we had in a while. It, it, it didn't go over 40 minutes this time, which is which is good for me. I've been in a a recording mood lately. Well, by lately, I mean today. <laughs> oh yeah, but but Sina's ace pilot ability. We'll see in the next day. Does a crap ton of damage against people that are weak to get against Sina's ace pilot ability. I was so freaking surprised. My jaw, my jaw dropped when I when I saw how much damage she did. This guy gets too angry. He needs to come and fuck down. <laughs> oh, anyway, I did get to World Wars BX. Um, I stopped playing it because uh, I had to redo the stage because I supposedly. I'm on stage like 18 right now, and supposedly like I had all, all the requirements to get a secret. But I didn't get this. I didn't like actually get the secret. So, uh, so I was trying to redo the stage and see if I could get it, because uh, from what I could gather, uh, after after the stage ends, if the person you defeat during the stage replies to uh, Shiro, which I believe is Koji's uh, little brother, I think his name Shiro, probably something else. That's when you know you'll get the person on stage 21, I believe. But when I complete the stage, you were silent. So I'm gonna try one more time with a different uh, tactician because in UX, and I'm certain to do this in BX, some secrets are unobtainable unless unless you had a certain tactician on. And a certain person spoke while I was fighting uh, the new uh, A. I forget what which which was called. I forgot. Completely forget the name of the the unit, the enemy unit. We'll face her in the next game of this one, so I'll make sure to, uh, well, I won't remember to mention her, but... But, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try the stage one more time, if I don't get it, then me. Because there, there, is, there is no, uh... 
There is no, uh, whatchamacallit. There is no... There is no English translation of the secrets yet, so I kind of had to, like, do some translate, translating of my own, and even then I, I, I knew it was bad, so... Yeah, because all the secrets aren't known yet about Super Robot Wars BX. Because I usually get the games before a few months after they come out, so all the secrets are out, but I got this game pretty soon after it came out, so I don't know. Anyway, the Vadra appeared, but like I said, they're not too difficult. Just do what you usually do in stages like like this, and you'll be fine. Like I've been saying, this stage isn't difficult at all. At this point, it's just do do as much damage. To the different enemies, do damage different amount of t t different. I don't know. I don't know how to say that correctly. Because you don't want to focus on this one one enemy. You want to do damage to as many enemies as you as you can. You want to damage as many enemies as you can. Is what I'm trying to say. Stop. That's all you want to do. You know, I liked it when YouTube told you how long your playlists are, but I can't actually see how long my playlists are anymore because YouTube stopped that for oh, some stupid reason. Let's see here. But, but I, I suppose I should mention this. Um, since I'm adding videos, uh, since I'm scheduling up, scheduling, <laughs> since I'm uploading, let me rephrase, let me say that again. Since I'm scheduling the uploads of videos, they're going to appear in playlists, but they're going to appear private. So if you're watching a playlist of mine and you see a bunch of private videos in a playlist, that's probably because they haven't been uploaded. That, that's, that means they have, they've been uploaded, but they haven't been published yet, most likely. That's what it most likely means. There might be, like, I might have made a mistake somewhere. But, uh... If you notice a bunch of private videos, then that's, that, that's why. I keep getting interrupted. Oh, why? Yeah, for the first time in a long time, I actually recorded a bit, a bit more than I usually do. Because I already recorded the episodes for uh, this week, this is World War Wars. Um, as as the time of recording this. Uh, yeah, when I'm recording this, the first episode of uh, the week hasn't even gone up yet. So I'm getting a little bit ahead, ahead, which is good. I, I need to get a lot more ahead if I want to upload a lot of videos. Because I know my videos aren't the hot, best quality out there. I'm not the funniest guy out there. I, I doubt I'm, I'd make any of you laugh. I may not be the most interesting guy out there either. But I do provide content on a regular basis, which is which is something, right? Right, guys? Right? 
right? <laughs> no, but, uh, but seriously, I, 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 I do my best at this sort of thing. And I'm glad some of you, some of you guys, enjoy, enjoy my video. Enjoy my videos. Because this is something I like to do, you know? I like to do my free time. much else to say about this stage because it really is I didn't have any difficult difficulty overall I explained already what it, what you pretty much need to do this is a, a recurring trend here with these stages because off more often than not I don't really need to speak about what's going on because I, the strategy is pretty simple and you shouldn't really have too much difficulty in this stage really I am essentially playing what is the hard mode of the game, so a lot of these enemies have more HP than they're really supposed to have. Because they're playing on on easier mode on an easier mode. Which the only way to play on an easier mode is to not get SR points. So that's something. And I and I, and I think that's a good system. If you like if you're going after optional objectives, make the game harder because you clearly want the game to be harder for yourself because you're going after these objectives which are difficult to get for the most part. Now in this game I believe there is no point into getting the SR points, they don't do much. In Z, these either lessen their requirements for a secret like if you need seven points, you'd need like five points instead, as long as you have a certain amount of SR points. So, and that's what they did in Z. Um, in Z2 and Z3, I don't believe they actually do anything. And like Alpha Gaiden, I know they prevented you from getting like uh, certain units. Like you couldn't, you couldn't get the. The Sazabi, um, without, uh, without without getting uh, what were called expert points in that game. But the expert points were required to get the best ending in the game, so. Yeah. Alpha Gain is pretty good. The problem is, is that uh, you can't skip an attack animation while you're in, while you're in one. So you're gonna have to watch an attack animation all the way through uh, before you can skip it. You can skip animations entirely, like like this game, just like this game. But I'd like it when you can skip animations in the middle of one. But sometimes I just like to see the beginning of the animation, and then I like to skip the rest. I like to see like my guy attack and then skip the enemy's attack animation. That's what I like to do. And that Fadra is dead. Alta almost has 70 kills. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. You know, because I I I never used uh. The Macross units in my original playthrough. I've, I've, I've never seen like the other pack, which is like a bunch of missiles just attached to the thing. Um, I think it's called the Powered Armor Pack or something like that. It's literally just like a bunch of missiles just attached to them.
So I've never actually seen that pack. I've seen this tornado pack because it's like a default. It's like his default unit or whatever in later games. He has a he has a better like unit, but like because the game doesn't want you to have all the powerful units from the get go. Like oh, it needs to go into repairs, so uh, have this weaker unit. <laughs> I mean that is like a bit uh, a BS there, but I can understand why they do that. I don't like it, but I can understand why they do that. And now I'm hungry. Why? I don't know. I suppose I need to go get some food now. But after the video. Right now, we need to uh, play this game. So I believe we're on turn 5 right now. So even if you're not... Well, I guess I don't think of myself as the best player of this game, but if you're not as doing as good as I am, you should still be fine for the most part if you don't have continuous action. Because I think I was on the 5th turn there, so I wasn't like... Uh, uh, what would you call it? I was just... I wasn't uh, having too much difficulty getting this R point uh, this time around. Anyway, there really is no point in me to continue commentating for this episode. Cause it's all just the boring stuff from here on out. So, oh Jesus, for some reason I had the urge to burp. But anyway, I'll see you guys again next time. Whenever that is, bye.